I love learning about a new field of science. It's like finding a new book by a great author or discovering that your favorite restaurant has a special tasting room upstairs. Like, it's been there all the time, but you never looked up. The field of psychorheology is like that for me. Most of my life, I had never heard of it, but I've come to discover I reap its benefits in many everyday consumer products. Everything from hot cocoa to sunscreen. Psychorheology touches upon how products feel, or more specifically, how we feel when we touch products. That makeup, that hand lotion, is it oily, dry, smooth, stiff, rough, thick, light, or foamy? Companies care about these things because consumers care. We demand a certain flavor, a certain color, a certain scent. And likewise, we seek a certain texture. How does it feel? That's exactly what psychorheology seeks to achieve. Inside Science. This work is about uh, perception, human perception of viscosity. Uh, the question is how do our consumers uh, perceive our products in terms of how uh, thick they are. Our project started when I would get many, many scientists who were making formulations and they would come to me and say, I'm trying to match the aesthetics of a product that is on the market right now. And I have a few different prototypes, and so I would run many different measurements. Of course, it's never going to match exactly, so I would have to go back to them and say, well, here's a prototype that matches very close. And then I would always get the question, is that difference noticeable by a consumer? And I would always have to answer, I don't know. We want the consumer to be happy with the product, so the consumer experience is very important and we can evaluate this experience by basically measuring it via questionnaires or also by measuring their preferences. For measuring their preferences, we can use different uh, tools like eye tracking, you know, measuring their pupil size and so on, emotional reactions. All of the different sensory cues for a certain product type are very important. You can have a lotion that we can show through data that really delivers a very good benefit and it can have very good aesthetics but if it doesn't have a good fragrance it's not going to get used. By having more and more data and more tuned models uh, we should get closer to what the consumer in the end really wants especially now that the consumer preferences are changing at a very fast pace. Inside Science. If you enjoyed this edition, follow us on the web and social media. Powered by the American Institute of Physics and a coalition of underwriters.